What's up guys, this is Chronico HD and welcome to episode 22 of my Black Ops 2 League Play series. And at this episode we're actually going to be playing with a squad. Um, in the fact that we're going to actually full party up and create a team. Which is kind of it's good things and it's bad things in the fact that it's not actually contributing to my own League Play rank should I say. So um, it may be a bit long-winded long way of doing these episodes. But also it's just nice to be playing with subscribers and stuff like that. And also doing like slightly different um, playing with a team. Seeing where we can be placed with this team. But apart from that guys, um, this episode is going to be another one where we're actually going to be talking about Xbox One and PS4. Because I balls up on the live commentary and as you can see there, we're actually playing with some subscribers. And therefore we're in a party chat. And um, I didn't record any of the party chat because I suck and and didn't um, swap the settings out. But I've done that now, so if we do do this in the future, you can hear me. But uh, basically, the commentary um, was horrendous. Like, the live commentary was horrendous in the fact that you could just hear me replying to random questions. And, uh, yeah, it just didn't work. So um, uh, that's why I'm going to be doing these kind of commentaries over the top last two episodes the first one we talked about uh, overpowerness and guns and stuff like black ops 2 just overall black ops 2 and how it feels at the moment uh last episode we talked about call of duty ghosts and this episode we're going to mainly be talking about the fourth generation consoles um the xbox one and the ps4 before i get into this kind of talk i just want to say i'm never i'm gonna keep like miss saying the consoles and stuff like that but uh, hopefully everything goes okay. So let's get into it. So basically, um, these uh, the both of the fourth generation consoles were released um, maybe in the beginning of May. I may have got that completely wrong. Um, or yeah, but uh, the kind of um, they they show they showed the, uh, the the fact that these new consoles are going to be coming out and the like biggest load of information would be coming out at E3, which was a couple of days ago doing this commentary. The gameplay is really, really old, um, but uh, I'm so far ahead in terms of gameplay and uh, upload, like, in the fact that I've got, like, 60 episodes recorded, and um, I'm currently, I'm currently, while I do this commentary, uploading seven episode 17. So, yeah, I'm quite far ahead, but uh, um, E3 came along, and uh, both Sony and Microsoft basically... Showed the console, um, told about all the specs. Well, they didn't really talk too much about the specs of it inside, like what's actually inside the box. They talked about the main features, showed a lot of games on the consoles and stuff like that. And this episode, I'm just going to be talking about that. So, as you can see here, we're going in our first game. We've got a freaking hardpoint game again, Raid Hardpoint. So, uh, hopefully we can do fairly decent in this game. But uh, getting back to the talk, um, I'm going to first talk about the Xbox One. So, I've had both the PS1 and the PS2, and then I went into that all in, like, the stage most people, most gamers have in their life when they decide between the two consoles, the Xbox 360 or the PS3. So, I was about, I'm not sure of the age, maybe 12, 13, so I'm there totting up all, like, the good things, so I'm on the list trying to provide, trying to persuade my parents here, saying what one to buy, so I'm totting up all the lists, so, uh, um, obviously, on the like positives of the Xbox, it's che it was cheaper at that time. Uh, it had Xbox Live, which like most of my friends had and stuff like that. And uh, then the PS4, of, uh, PS3, sorry, had the Blu-ray player, which is nice. Um, I was like adding like if I bought the Xbox 360 for cheaper, plus buying a Blu-ray player would it go for cheaper than the PS3? Uh, I was basically totting up every situation possible, and I eventually came to a conclusion and went out and bought the Xbox 360. And I've still got that one today. It's going strong. And I can't, like, it's a fairly old one. It's the white one. Like, the, uh, I'm not sure of the, like, um, store. I think it's, like, the 60 gig one. So, uh, it's a very old one. But it's going strong. Um, I've had, like, Red Ring a couple of times. But uh, I've solved the problem of that. Just raise it up slightly. And you should be fine to go. But, yeah, it does make a lot of noise. Sometimes you get a bit of um, console lag and shit like that. But uh, uh, it's been going fine. I'm not going to be complaining. And I am don't choose to swap it out until the next generation console come out so um obviously having the xbox kind of makes you a fan not i wouldn't say fanboy because i i i don't say 
oh, Xbox is better than PS3. Um, yeah, they both got good things, both got bad things. But um, actually, this game actually changed. It changed into a capture the flag on slums. And uh, I know the re end result of this. Uh, yeah, I should stick around and see what the final score is. But, um, um, so I'm not really like a guy who says, oh, the Xbox is better. I'm going to definitely pick up the Xbox One. I I'm kind of like a neutral, shall I say. I, I just pick it up because... A, my friends have got it, and B, it's just an all-round fairly reliable console. So, um, the Xbox, well, Microsoft's got its good things, Xbox Live and stuff like that. Very, very good software, service, whatever you want to call it, and uh, stuff like that. But, um, so, automatically, I'm kind of thinking, I want to go and pick up the Xbox One. The Xbox 360 has been absolutely fantastic for me, and uh, the Xbox One looks like the way forward. Um, and like I, I just didn't think. Oh, PS4. Okay, it will be good. Hope, well, hope it will be good. But uh, I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm gonna get the Xbox One. So E3 came around. Well, the first release of these consoles, I wasn't too stoked about the Xbox One. Um, yes, it comes. Basically, it's a fucking TV box, which I think. Uh, well, yes, it's nice that it can be fucking all in one. But for us UK guys. We won't be able to get any of the satellite stuff because they've got it all with like Comcast and I don't think we can get that in the UK. So that eliminates most of the UK people out and um, so basically the UK people, it's just pointless to get it now um, in the fact that we don't get like the main services. Um, then uh, they were talking about how uh, you had to, in that conference, I think there was like some releases saying used games couldn't be used. Um, you had to be on the internet. If you didn't have an internet connection, it wouldn't work. And the fact that the connect was always on and stuff like that. And they were just like rumours. Whereas um, when E3 came along, PS4, they just didn't show much, uh, basically. They just showed a tiny blurred image of the console itself and stuff like that. So in the release of the consoles, the Xbox One won. If that, like, dominated PS4. But um, when E3 came along, uh, Microsoft term was first. And uh, they showed the console and they basically confirmed the bad things no one wanted to be on the console. The fact you couldn't use used games, which I think is bloody stupid. Uh, it's like, yes, everyone's moving to digital, wow. But um, I still like the copy of the disc. And yeah, I know like that's, they're kind of like trying to eliminate that. But that's not the th thing I'm talking about. But I still like the feeling of the disc. And the fact that, um, um, what was I saying? Uh, the fact that... I can, like, I can, it's not like I use it, and then if I finish the game, I don't, I, I, it's a waste of money in a sense. Yes, I've got entertainment from it, but it's just pointless in buying it in the first place. Whereas if you could, like, sell it back to the shop, yes, you get a discounted, like, less price, or maybe give it to a friend, swap it with friends, uh, maybe get, get like, uh, say to your friends, maybe you both want two games, and, um, you get one friend to buy the other, you to buy the other game, and then you just swap them once you finish with them. There you go, you save both each other money, you don't pick up the same game, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of like a good thing. And But the fact you can't use used games, I think it's bloody ridiculous, and is in a sense a turn-off point for the Xbox One. Which is not the biggest um, disadvantage of the game. Yes, you can you, can't, you don't use used games, but uh, um, I'm not too bothered about that. Then it came on to the thing you need, constant internet connection, which um, I think is so, so stupid. Why I don't even know why it needs to be used. Um, and basically, I think, I'm not sure, I've, I've been, I've like watched some reviews on YouTube and stuff like that. And one YouTuber summed it up really, really well in the fact that um, in the third con gen generation consoles, the Microsoft were going for the consumer, not the companies associated with the product. Whereas this generation of consoles is swapped around. As you can see there, there's only one enemy, one teammate and um, enemy opponent and we were winning 10 flags. So uh, basically this game was a win. But um, um, yeah, so it's, he basically summed it up really well saying the these consoles now, the Xbox is going more for the companies associated it, with it. And that's the fact why it's online. So these companies um, who produce the games, yes, I don't, I think that it's wrong to use um um, unpaid for games and like get exploits to get the games for free but um, I think it's stupid that other people who pay for the games have to suffer because they have to stay online because there's some people like myself my in I have internet yes most people have internet but there's some people without internet also 
some people's internet um, sometimes goes down. And when I mean goes down, it goes down for a long time. Like people living in rural areas, sometimes the internet is absolutely shocking. And um, I'm not quite sure how uh, the Xbox works on that. So um, if you don't know, if the Xbox doesn't sign in for 24 hours, you're... You base, it doesn't freeze, but you can't play it until you get re-established internet connection. Which I think is just stupid because, um, basically, I'm not sure if you can play, say, play offline. Like, say, play the campaign offline. Because, um, uh, in the fact that, if you, say, turn it on and then disconnect the internet, can you still play the campaign and then turn it on, put the internet connection back in, should I say? Because uh, sometimes I don't really want to play online with my um, campaign, should I say. I, I'd rather, uh, I don't really, sometimes some people, like my friends invite me to chat and stuff, I'd rather just sit back and play the um, campaign instead of talking to them, not offence to them or anything, like, but you just want to get the full experience of the campaign. And then moving on to the fact that they connect. I think that it was stupid that they, that well, the price, the, let's talk about the price before we want to connect. If you don't know, the Xbox is going for about £500 in the UK, which um, is stupid compared to American prices, but then the American prices, uh, the UK prices does cover shipping. And the PS4 goes for £100 cheaper, um, which automatically appeals to a large audience. Um, a console that is cheaper, very similar, is also it's going to get a lot more audience. So... Um, yeah, that's where Microsoft, I think, made a mistake. But then you've got to think about the Kinect. The 100 quid more is for the Kinect. And um, I've got Kinect. Um, I, I told my mum not to buy it. She went out and bought it for me. Thank you. Not. I've, I haven't used it. Well, I've used it for like the day we got it and then never, ever used it. I've got it for like my birthday or something, so I didn't randomly just go and get it. But um, I never use it. I, I just don't like it. I, I never like... The Wii was, yeah, yeah it's good. You get... It's just the fact that it's a controller. It's the fact you're just standing there in a room, just randomly doing movements. You look like a fucking tit, to be honest. But um, apart from that, that's why it's slightly increased. And the fact that the Kinect is, has to be fucking connected. What asshole in Microsoft was thinking, oh, I know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that these people use the darn fucking Kinect and make sure it has to be plugged in to use. Yeah, it makes it easier. You have to walk into your room and say, on Xbox. A, you look like a tit, saying, walking randomly, saying random words. And B, what lazy fucker can't push the button while they walk into the room? Huh? Why do you need some fucking machine to turn it on for you? Yeah, that's what I think is fucking stupid. But um, that thing I think is stupid. And I just think... <coughs> Sorry about this, I'm talking too quick. Um, another thing I'm thinking, like, I just think Microsoft has gone for the completely wrong business idea. In the fact that... Um, uh, yeah, the Xbox appeals to some people and it doesn't in others. Um, first, it's price. It's a lot more expensive than the PS3. A hunt, right. If you think about it, if you go up to your parents, anything around the 500 quid mark gets expensive. Like, anything near the 500, it's like, that is half of a grand you're spending on a games console. Anything below that is like, yes, it's a lot of money, but it's not as big as this massive half a grand sum. You don't really think about that too much. So I think PS4, um, Sony have done really well in the pricing. Next bit, the bad things about the Xbox One. Um, use games, stupid. Constantly online, stupid. Connect, stupid. Um, so there you go, that's why it probably goes for the PS4. Overall, I always wanted the Xbox One, but the PS4 just attracts me more. Business idea, completely wrong. They've gone for the consumer, no, they've gone for the big companies instead of the consumer, Microsoft. You need to go for the consumer because if you don't get people paying for your product, who gives a shit about these things? Like, basically, you want to get as much audience. That's why the um, Xbox 360 did really well. They appealed to the consumer and got a shit ton of sales. Now, PS4 have stepped, or Sony have stepped up their thing. They got a fairly fresh looking console. Both consoles look fairly decently. And, um, also, the fact that it's cheaper, uh, it can use used games, um, apparently it's got more processing power, and it's for gaming. Xbox One, for TV, slash gaming, slash living room bollocks. I want a console for gaming. 
it, I just think they've gone for the wrong idea in making it more um, fam, not family friendly, but more than a games console. I think they should just think about games consoles. I think what they should have done is made the A scrap the new Xbox 360, scrap that completely, and made two fourth gen consoles: the Xbox One and the Xbox. 720 should I say so the Xbox 720 is just the Xbox 360 but buffed up for fourth generation games Xbox one is the same therefore you appeal to both markets Whereas I th I just think it's really really stupid in what they've done um, From my well, conferences and stuff like that. I now want to go for the ps4 But it's just the Xbox I get to keep all my live and stuff ps4 and now paying like you have to pay for live as well Well, should I say online? So that may increase the PS4 PlayStation Network experience a bit better. But guys, um, that was a quick rant. I kind of didn't get what I wanted to finish saying. But uh, guys, this is the end of the episode. We won that game by like 22 flag caps. So that is pretty impressive. But if you like this episode, remember to click the like button. Put any feedback, any um, any responses to what I've been talking about in the comments. And subscribe to stay tuned to this series. Uh, this is the end of the episode. This has been Quashy. Till next time. Adios.